Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to Commercial Commentary. This is episode 78 of Commercial Commentary. And today we're going to talk about uh, an app. Yes, there's an app that has a commercial, at least in my area. Now, we all know apps. There are game apps. They, some of those have commercials. There are other apps that we have that you might have commercials for in your area. But this one's a little bit, I don't know, bizarre. It's an app that lets you text prisoners and send them money. Let's take a look. What? You can now send money and text messages to and from inmates? Really? Is this a good idea? Now, I have no problem with inmates receiving messages, I suppose, but you really want to text them money? I mean, I'm, why would they need money in prison? Isn't everything pretty much paid for? I mean, what are they going to use money for? Then again, having never been in prison, I'm not really aware, but it just seems random to be able to send text and money to people in prison. And are there so many people who want to do this that they need a commercial to tell you about it? Wow. My cousin Danny's locked up. Wow, I cannot believe this. I mean, I'm gonna text Danny right now. All right, so his cousin Danny's locked up and he's gonna send him a text. Now, prisoners aren't allowed to have cell phones, so how's he gonna receive the text? How does this work? I mean, you send a text with this app to someone in prison and, hmm, how do they get it? Let's investigate. All right, I have a problem with this part of the commercial. The prisoners are both black, the guard is white. Now, don't you think they could have made one of the prisoners white and maybe the guard could be Hispanic or something? I mean, I think this is a bit racist, don't you? So the jail cell door is wide open. Perhaps this is normal, as I said, I don't know. But the guard knocks on the bars with his billy club and then hands him a piece of paper. So I'm assuming the piece of paper is the message that this prisoner got sent because obviously he has no cell phone. So that means the guards are now messengers that have to deliver text messages to inmates. Is this a good use of guards' time? Wow. This is so cool. I can't believe I got a message like this. Okay, so now we have a guard who delivers the messages, but we also have prison staff who have to print out these messages. Uh, it looks like they're using color printers, so they're using either ink or toner, which costs money. Um, you know, I don't, under I don't think this is necessarily a good app. My cousin sent me this message with these pics, and he sent me a $20 money order too. So does any of that $20 money order go for paying for the guard's time to deliver the message or the cost of for printing the message? And what does one buy in prison for $20? Wow. Yeah, man, it says that my response to this message will be delivered to his phone. That's too cool, man. Awesome. I haven't heard from him in months. So from looking at the desk, I obviously had gotten this a bit wrong. The company that has the app actually prints out the printout and sends it to them in the mail. So they're just delivering mail. So since the guards are probably delivering mail anyway, it probably doesn't use any more of their time, except for the fact that perhaps prisoners will get more mail because of this texting app. So now the prisoner is writing a response to the person in longhand and he has a envelope there perhaps he mails it back hmm let's see wow now i can send and receive text messages from my cousin in jail and i can send him money if he's so excited about being able to send text and money to people i should give him my number i'm not in prison but i'd be more than happy to you know, have, have him send me a text and some money well, Perhaps just some money. Man, 
That's unreal. Let me tell you guys about Text Behind. So his radio audience is mostly made up of people who know people who are in prison and they would like to receive money via text. It's easy as one, two, three. Add a contact, send a text with photos, money order, and receive a reply. Not only that, if you're a pen pal with an inmate, you can now become a text pal. So I've heard of pen pals, but text pal? Is that a thing? A text pal?